Today I'm in prison. I've just arrived on the bus. It took me two hours to reach here from Pristina, the capital. Prizren is in the south of Kosovo, close to the Macedonian and Albanian borders. I was just stopped by an extremely friendly man telling me how much he loves London and Metallica, Pink Floyd. Really, really welcoming, really nice guy. <laughs> So right now I'm in the center of Prizren, the mosque behind me, and the famous fortress at the top of the hill over there, which I'll be going to a bit later on. And you can see the stream and several bridges it runs underneath in this direction. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of the river. However, you can just look it up on Google Maps, and I could also look up Google Maps, I will. So this mosque behind me is known as the Sinan Pasha Mosque and today I deliberately wore trousers even though it's extremely hot because I wanted to go inside. I've never been inside a mosque before. I always want to try new things. inside was really nice to me and friendly and introduced me to a few things about his religion. I'm walking up to the fortress now and it's a little bit overgrown and barren you could say. Look what the path has turned into. <laughs> I've definitely taken a wrong turning. There's just a house here. Look where the path's ended up. It just stops there. So, not too sure about Google Maps in this situation. However, the view is incredible. Look at that. That is amazing. You can see the Shinan Pasha Mosque I was inside moments ago. It stands out amongst the rest of the buildings. I think I may have found the path again. Lizards. <laughs> Oh, it's just completely overgrown. How do I get there? All my messing around trying to find the way towards the fortress and I didn't notice the Church of the Holy Trinity behind me. It's now famous because it's been destroyed somewhat by the fighting in the 90s. I'm gonna see if I can get closer to it instead of following the way to the fortress. Can't get any closer than this to this church. I've now found the correct path to get to the fortress by finding this church, which is just here, that one. So I'm now gonna walk up. From here you can get a much better view of the church and see how it's been damaged. Now inside the fortress, I just read a sign saying that it first started to be built in 1100 BC, so that's definitely a long time ago. The fortress is known as Kalaja, and it only takes 15 minutes or so to walk up here. As long as you don't get lost. It probably took me about half an hour. <laughs> Nobody else seems to have got lost though, because there's quite a few people in here, and I was the only one going the wrong way, so obviously that's just me. Rasnov, Okrid. Prizren, everywhere seems to have a fortress with an amazing view. I've been to so many similar places and every time the view is just incredible. I'm gonna have a better look in a second but just have a quick look around the back of here to see how far it stretches and see some of these ruins because they're quite interesting. <laughs>
heading back down now and I forgot to mention that the fortress is absolutely free so you don't have to pay anything the only thing you have to pay is to walk up here in sweat when it's on a hot day two young guys from Kosovo they must have been about 15 asked me to take pictures of them with my camera and the view and I ended up taking about 20 different pictures for each of them um, different poses and oh, it got ridiculous anyway I'm gonna send them to them on whatsapp later so hopefully they'll appreciate those <laughs> now 10 to 5 and the same as in Macedonia and Skopje it's the calling for prayer by the mosques I'm now back in the city and I'm just strolling around on my way back to the bus station as today was only a day trip from Pristina uh, you can obviously stay in Pris room for a night uh, but for me I'm limited on the amount of days I've got left before my flight back to London so I can only make it a day trip here if I wanted to visit other places in Kosovo which I do this rate of honking reminds me of China insane. Overall Prizrem's a picturesque city, just four euros on the bus from Pristina. If you're in Kosovo you should definitely come here and check it out. The fortress gives you amazing views so I highly recommend it. If you'd like to check out my other videos on this trip from Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria and the Republic of Macedonia they'll all be in the description box below in their own playlist and of course my China vlogs which I visited China last year and if you enjoy these videos then please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one peace